Is Planet X stuck in a fractal orbit? This is a wild one. What if there's a massive planet hiding at the edge of our solar system, but its orbit is so chaotic we can't track it? Could this mysterious planet be Planet Nine, actually be a rogue planet interstellar space trapped in the sun's gravitational field? And what if the reason we haven't found it yet is because it's following a fractal orbit, a complex, never repeating path that's impossible to predict. And this isn't like a sci-fi thing, this is kind of the physics, physics of what would happen for a planet entering our solar system. For years, scientists have speculated about the existence of a massive unseen planet lurking beyond Neptune. Known as Planet Nine, this hypothetical planet could explain strange disturbances we've observed in the Kuiper Belt, a region of icy bodies that orbit far from the sun. Many of these objects, known as Kuiper Belt objects, have orbits that seem unnaturally clustered. Instead of spreading out evenly, they're moving in strangely aligned, elongated paths, which suggests that something massive is pulling on them. In 2016, astronomers proposed that a hidden planet, potentially 10 times the size of Earth, that's really big, could be responsible for these gravitational tugs. This planet, if it exists, would be located far beyond Neptune in a dark, distant region of the solar system. But despite years of searching, we haven't been able to find it. And one reason for this could be that Planet Nine is following a fractal orbit, a chaotic, and key word here, chaotic, unpredictable path shaped by both the sun's gravity and the immense gravitational forces of the Milky Way. A planet in a fractal orbit wouldn't move in a smooth, predictable way. Instead, its path would constantly shift and change like a never-ending, self-similar pattern. No matter how much we zoom in on its orbit, the complexity just keeps increasing. But what exactly is a fractal orbit? Let's try to break it down. Imagine you're trying to draw a smooth, simple path that repeats over and over again. Now imagine something much more complicated. Instead of a nice, clean circle, the path keeps changing. Every time you go around, the shape is a little bit different. It never repeats in the same way. This is what we mean by a fractal orbit. A fractal is a special kind of pattern. It's made up of shapes that keep repeating, no matter how much you zoom in or out. You might have seen things, you might have seen this with things in nature like the branching patterns of trees or the way coastlines look when viewed from above. No matter how closely you look at a fractal, you always find more detail and it keeps going forever. Now, imagine a planet in the outer solar system following a path that's like a fractal. It's slowly kind of smoothing out into a regular orbit, but instead of going in a predictable circular orbit like the Earth around the sun, it's taking a much more complicated route. Also, it's not reflecting light like the other planets because it's so far out there, so we can't see it. Every time the planet goes around the sun, its path changes just a little. The planet isn't following a regular loop. It's trapped in a chaotic, never-ending cycle that doesn't repeat itself. This makes it really, really hard to spot. In simple orbits, we can predict a planet where a planet will be at any given time, which makes it easier to find, but in a fractal orbit, the path is so complex that the planet could be in one part of our solar system one year and far away the next. It's like trying to follow someone who keeps changing direction every time they take a step. You can never quite figure out where they're going to end up. And, and that's what makes this idea of Planet Nine so fascinating and so mysterious, but also valid. If it's trapped in one of these fractal orbits, it might be slipping in and out of detectable areas, hiding from our telescopes for centuries at a time. And there's another possibility. The paper that we kinda, I kind of got this idea from and that we're really discussing here it's called Permanent Entrapment of Planets. It, and it raises the idea that rogue planets, planets that have been ejected from other star systems, could have been captured by the sun's gravity. Imagine a planet drifting through interstell interstellar space, far from any star, until it passes close enough to the sun to be pulled into its gravitational web. 
Once captured, this rogue planet would follow a chaotic path through the solar system, disturbing the orbits of distant objects like the Kuiper Belt objects. Over millions of years, its fluence would gradually accumulate, pulling objects into strange clustered paths. Could Planet Nine have started its life as one of these rogue planets? It's possible. According to this paper, rogue planets can be drawn into the solar system through a process called permanent capture. Once captured, they stay in orbit, but their paths might be chaotic and unpredictable, perfect candidates for fractal orbits. The paper even suggests that over millions of years, more and more rogue planets could accumulate, suddenly influencing the structure of the outer solar system, including the Kuiper Belt. Some estimates suggest that if a rogue planet like Planet 9 had been captured, it could take anywhere from 800 years or more to complete its orbit around the sun. This would make it incredibly hard to detect with our current technology as it moves along its fractal path. It could slip in and out of detectable regions, evading us as it exerts gravitational influence on everything around it. So how would such a planet get captured in the first place? The paper mentions these things called Lagrangian points, special regions in space where the gravitational forces between two bodies, like the sun and a planet, balance out. These points act like gateways through which objects from interstellar space can slip into the solar system. Once inside, a planet could fall into a chaotic fractal orbit, permanently captured by the sun's gravity. Could Planet 9 have slipped through one of these gravitational gateways? centuries ago, hiding in plain sight at the edge of the solar system? And what if it's not alone? With rogue planets accumulating over time, there could be multiple objects following these chaotic fractal paths. These planets might be pulling on the Kuiper Belt objects, causing the clustering and disturbances we've observed. But because of their unpredictable orbits, they remain hidden from view, circling in and out of our reach. So, could Planet Nine be a rogue planet wandering through space before being captured by the sun's gravity? Is its orbit so cha chaotic and complex that it has evaded detection for centuries? And if rogue planets can accumulate in the solar system over millions of years, how many more could be out there hiding in fractal orbits just beyond our reach?